What's up you guys? It is Margot. Merry Christmas. Um, it's Christmas Eve right now. I'm actually a little bit ahead of the game getting ready to go to our cute little church service which we go to every year. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see what I got my family for Christmas and about 80% of you said yes and the other 20% said your time is long gone. So for those of you who think that this is too late, I agree with you um, and I'm sorry, you don't have to watch. I do happen to think I'm pretty good at giving gifts, so um, with that being said, family members, I mean, I guess if you're my immediate family, you would have already gotten your gifts, but cousins, don't watch this. I do want to start out by saying that I'm very grateful that I'm able to give gifts to people. I know that obviously getting gifts is a huge privilege, but I think giving gifts is also a huge privilege. Being able to have the means to give back to people you love is huge. And um, I'm really happy that I'm able to do that. So I just want to preface by saying that. And I also didn't ask for anything. I am obsessed with giving gifts. Um, I enjoy giving gifts more than receiving gifts. So, yeah. So with that being said, let's start. Some people hate when I say with that being said. Sorry. I'm going to start with my brothers. So I have two older brothers, as you guys may know. One of them lives in Oregon. Unfortunately, wait, this door is bothering me. One second. Unfortunately, my brother who lives in Oregon is not able to join us this year. So I already sent him his gift. I gave him a really nice lightweight flannel because here's flannels year round. So... I figured at least for the summertime, he'll have an appropriate one to wear. And then I gave him a bunch of goodies that I've been saving up, but I'm gonna move on to my other brother just because I can't physically show you what I gave Peter. So Eric is my brother. I just did a video with him that I uploaded today. Okay, so for Eric, we can start with this. By the way, for all of my boxing and packaging, it's all PR boxes that I've received, so I'm reusing that and then I'm gonna be wrapping them with newspaper. So we're reusing all of the packaging. Um, I think gift wrap is such a huge waste of paper and you also can't recycle a lot of it because there's a plastic lining. A lot of people don't know that. So just use newspaper next year or for birthdays. So this is for my brother Eric. It's in a Glossier package. <laughs> this is actually PR that I was given that he was really excited about, so this is from a few months ago. He's probably forgotten about it. This is New Ground. It is like alcoholic coffee and cafe latte. So I got him two boxes of it. This is chai latte. And then the other one is cafe latte. And then when they sent them to me, they came with socks. And he likes socks. So I threw that in. So next for my brother, I forgot that I got him this, but in London, I found this really amazing tie maker and bow tie maker and um, cufflink maker store. <laughs> and my brother Eric is really into bow ties, so I got him this one. I think it's really nice and it's a little Christmassy, so yeah, I think he'll love this. The last thing for my brother Eric, he loves face masks, so I put together about 10 face masks for him that I think he'll like. I hope I'm not embarrassing him by saying that he likes face masks, but I know many boys that do. Oh, I actually have one more thing for my brother. This is like such a small gift because it's not necessarily from me, kind of, but I just flew and they have this little pouch for Star Wars with travel stuff and he just switched jobs. So he thinks he's gonna be traveling a bit more and here's a travel kit. Next, for my baby sister, Rue. This is her first Christmas. She, no, she's not a human, she's a dog. She's a cockapoo. I got her two gifts, which I am so excited about. First of all, I got this Glossier Bomb.com. They did a collaboration with Bark. If it's still available, I'll link it below. Um, but this is a little chew toy that's supposed to look like bomb.com. And Rue's gonna be a Glossier gal. And then another thing, this is a re-gift, but she won't know. We always have flashlights when we're taking her out at night. 
and Sephora collection gave us a flashlight in Tennessee that I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna give Rue and she's gonna be an honorary member of True SC 2020. Next up for my dad. First, I got him a box of goodies that I tried to make a theme around. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I said for cozy and comfortable travels. So I got him three things. I have to be a little quiet because he's upstairs, but first I got him this collapsible cup. He loves stuff like this, so I think he'll like this. I actually have one of these and it's very helpful and you reduce single waste, single use plastic. So I think he'll actually really like this. He doesn't have any fun socks, but he loves Guinness. And I went to the Guinness storehouse in, is it the storehouse? in Ireland um, for St. Patrick's Day. So I got him these. They're just fun little toucan Guinness socks. And then this is another like dad thing that I just know that he would like. It's a inflatable hoodie pillow. I don't know, but I think he'll like it. I also got him a swell because my mom has one and I just got my brother one. So I wanted him to join in the fun. So this is just a silver one. He works out and he plays tennis and basketball. So I figured he would get some good use out of this. And then lastly for my dad, you guys might remember I picked up a case to buy case and they have his initials at the bottom and it's just really nice. He just got a new phone. He does have a case for it, but I think he's really gonna like this. Now for my mom, I think I did the best gift for my mom. She is just so hardworking and the nicest, most giving, caring, amazing person on the entire earth. So I wanted to give back to her because I'm usually not home and even when I am home, she's always cooking and making amazing dinners for us, but she's always working. So this was her time. So in this little box that I had, I have a few things. So first of all, this is my like around the world box. So it says gloves from Germany. So these are actually from Troop SC, but they don't fit me. So I'm hoping they fit her because she wears gloves a lot. And then this is saffron from Barcelona. So this is actual like from the source saffron and it's supposed to be amazing for cooking. So I think she'll have fun with this. Okay, I have to be really quiet because she's next door. Next, I got her this bag from Granada. If you guys remember um, my spring break vlog in Europe. So I got her just this little coin pouch and then inside is a rock from where my parents got engaged at the Alhambra. She collects rocks and I think she's gonna cry. <laughs> so that's this little pouch. So in addition to that, the gift that I'm most excited to give this Christmas is I got us a weekend at a five-star hotel in like upstate mid-New York um, because she deserves it. And I always go on these incredible brand trips and I always wish that I could experience it with my parents. So I'm really excited to be taking my mom to one of these really nice places where it's kind of a fun weekend and do wine tastings and hikes and just kind of enjoy her and celebrate what she does for everyone. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, next I have to go quickly for the other things. For my family, I got, I'm not even gonna bother showing you, but I got a little ornament from Germany. It's all like wrapped up, so you wouldn't even be able to tell, but it's this long, pretty, angelic thing, and it has a pearl on it, and Margaret means pearl, so it makes gift giving pretty easy. But I got that from the holiday market. Okay, Eliza and Sarah, if you're watching, knock it off. So first for Miss Eliza, she is my age, so she's a senior at Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin, she never will cuddle with me and Sarah. Sarah and I always cuddle together and Eliza never wants in. So I said, you don't like cuddling with humans, but I think you'll like cuddling with bees. So I got her an Infinity Travel Bamboo Mask. for Collection gifted us with one of these and I loved it. So I got one for Eliza. And then I also got her this big fluffy blanket from Urban. It's super soft and plush. And then also for Eliza, in here, I got her 
a fun pair of sunglasses that I think she's gonna like. And then I also got her two pieces from Princess Polly that I think she's had her eyes on, or at least she would look really cute in. And then last person I have is my cousin Sarah. She is going abroad in Paris next semester, which is so exciting. I'm praying that I can visit her. So I got her this little pack. I think these are always the best and most fun gifts to give and receive. So I'm gonna walk you through. It's kind of a little Paris survival guide. Not survival guide, but like fun little travel kit. So first we have the travel skincare to glow around the world. This is all travel size, so it'll be super easy for her to hop on planes with. And then we have these two gorgeous shades from Sephora collection. Um, and I said dark lips to fit in. And then we have this. This is the metallic palette from Sephora collection. And I said shiny shadows to stand out. All of these little sayings are written actually on the box. And then we have highlighters for your travel highlights, pens to jot down your French thoughts, black pants to stay chic and cozy, which are way at the bottom, and then sunnies to people watch. And then I also threw in these baggage claim gold, rose gold eye masks, cause it's perfect for a little traveler. That is what I got my family. I'm really excited with all of it. I have to go now because I'm heading off to church and I have to change out of my sweatpants. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you may celebrate. Um, happy holidays and I will see you very soon.